Okay, hello. Welcome to day 24 of our everyday move segment. Let's start on our mat and let's go knees together, toes together. Uh, tuck your feet under and sit back on those heels for me for just a second. Kind of shift those hips side to side, roll the shoulders back and down. Lean your head to the left and the right, left. Right. All right, inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And then we're just going to stretch forward onto the mat. So extend your arms out really far. Slide the shoulder blades down the spine. Grab through that core and rest your forehead on the mat. Take a second to scan the body. Notice what's going on. How do your hands feel, your wrists, your forearms, your elbows? your shoulders, your neck, the back, sides of the body, the belly, the low back, your hips, your glutes, your thighs, knees, calves, shins, ankles, feet. So just notice, hopefully noticing any kind of Aches or pains, we can work into those and help alleviate in some way, shape, or form. Go ahead and come up. Don't forget how effective ice can be for inflammation and for helping the body feel a little better. Curl those toes under. Drop your hips back on your heels. Hang out here just a second. Push that chest forward, slide shoulder blades down, and we're gonna open up into a wide squat. So bring your hands in the middle, and then open your feet wide, uh, even wider than your mat possibly, and we're gonna kind of hinge side to side. So move and rotate side to side. Put a little more, uh, all your body weight onto that right foot. The heel is pulling up, left heel down, then we're gonna rotate to the other side. You're on your left toe, the right toe comes up, so you're on your right heel, and then shift again to the left and the right. Kind of getting some movement in through those feet, the bottom of the feet, through the knees, the hips. Let's go one more each side, and then we're gonna hang out in that low squat. So find a position where you can get your heels all the way on the ground, hopefully, and then your elbows in between the knees. Super effective, healthy position for really a lot of things that are going on in the body. Your digestive system, your hips, your back, organs, chest, shoulders, upper back. Just hang out here a little bit longer. If you want to work the head around, stretch a little bit through the neck, go for it. If you need to come out of it and then go back into it, you can. Also, if you are finding that it's tough to get all the way down here, you can just come wide and low wherever your body's ready for. So you can sit your hips about at knee height, still pushing those knees out with your elbows. Feels nice. All right. So if you are in that low squat or in the mid squat, we are going to bring our hips up just a bit now. So um, hands are gonna come onto the ground. Keep your hips as low as they can kind of go about in line with your knees. And we're just gonna do some upper body thoracic rotation. So pull your right arm up and back, drop it down, left arm up and back. Try to keep those hips low, twist. Check in with the shoulders. So drive that shoulder down away from the ear. Create space between your ear and shoulder. Twist it up. Hips are low. Twist it up. Hips are low. One more each side. And then push those hips all the way up. And let your head and shoulders kind of hang over those legs. Weight of the head, the weight of the shoulders, kind of pulling you forward. Drop your right knee and let the left leg stay straight. 
Now drop your left knee, the right leg stays straight. All right, level off through both feet, grab through that core, come all the way up. Arms up overhead. And then we're gonna do some standing back extensions. So we're gonna be rolling forward, coming forward, tuck your belly under, kind of like a cat and a cow pose, but we're gonna be standing. Bring your arms together, push them forward, tuck the chin, feel a lot of stretch in that upper middle back. And then raise your arms up overhead. Let your pelvis tip forward, anterior. Tilt, hands come back, feel that opening in the chest, the shoulder blades slide together. And then reverse the other direction. Tuck that tailbone. So now we have our posterior tilt. Push the chest forward, or I'm sorry, push your hands forward. Dome through that upper back. And then inhale and reverse. Push that chest forward, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, tuck here. And then inhale, open and extend. One more. Round. Push those hands forward, dome through that upper back. And then bring it up. All right, exhale, let those arms come all the way down. We're gonna do the same thing on our hands and knees. Going into our real cat cow. Shoulders over those wrists, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, push the shoulder blades down. Tailbone pushes up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, push into the hands, dome into the upper back and round. Inhale, slide forward. And then exhale, round. Let's go three more. Inhale, push the chest forward. Tuck and round. We're going to go one more. Make sure you're waking up that core, grabbing in deep through that low belly. Activate the core muscles. Okay, come to your neutral spine. Curl those toes under. Push your hips up and back. So you're in a downward facing dog. It's kind of a shortened one. It's okay. We're not going to stay here very long. Push into that thumb and first finger. Drive your heels down toward the ground. Engage through the core. All right, walk your feet so they're a little closer to your hands. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. We're going to do a forward hinge or forward fold with a rear leg lift. So you could use your fingertips to help support yourself on the ground or grab a bench or some books and you can bring the floor up to you but we're gonna balance through our left leg. Keep the leg just slightly bent. If you have, let's see, this guy opens. <clears throat> you can find kind of a mid, mid height, okay? So use that if you would need to, but we're gonna keep our hands either on that bench or on the floor, and you're going to lift that other leg straight back behind you. Slide shoulder blades down, core is strong. You can also balance on your knee. Here we go, lift and lower that leg. So we wanna have flexion and foundation in that left supporting leg. Feel strength in the core, strength in the back. Try to keep those hips as level as possible. Get movement through that hip joint. Three more. All right, bring your feet together. Hinge down into those hips a little bit. Come all the way up. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. And then exhale, bring them back down, going to that other side. So whether you wanna use your bench or your knee or the floor, 
We're going to support on that right side now. Find that uh, balance and level off of those hips. So depending on what's going on in your hip joint and one, one hip compared to the other, one leg compared to the other, it's going to be different. So check in. Get that other leg flexed and straight. One. Two. We'll lift and lower. Grab the core. Slide the shoulder blades down. Last one. Bring your feet toward one another. Hands out in front of you. Walk your legs back. Quick down dog. Push into that thumb and first finger. Hollow out your armpits. Shoulder blades down the spine. Drop your right knee. Push through that left heel. Drop your right heel. Push. And straighten through that right leg. Let your right or left knee drop toward the ground. All right, level off. Walk those feet back in. Hands back in. We're going to take our low squat. So get as low as you can, dropping those hips down. Hands at the chest. Push the elbows into the knees. Get those guys open. Okay, and then we're going to go back into that forward fold that supported forward fold. And now we're gonna move the leg out to the side. Don't worry about how high you lift it. Okay, we just wanna slide those shoulder blades back and down. We wanna find core contraction, flexion into your supporting leg, and then a lift in that other one. Three more. Slide those shoulder blades back and down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hinge straight into the other one. So balance on that right foot. Kick the left one out to the side. Trying to get that lateral extension. Check in with your core. Check in with those neck muscles. They should not be contracting. You're using the back, the core, and then the glute and that leg to lift. Three two, and one. Walk those hands out. Toes back. Slide into that downward facing dog. Drop your right knee. Drop your left knee. Widen those feet. Walk back into your squat, that low squat. And then we're going to come all the way up to standing. All right, we're going to do some leg swings. Chest tall, core strong. Okay, we're going to plant on that right leg. And then we're just going to bring uh, the left straight up in front of us, right? So core strong, chest tall, swing it up. Catch if you need. If you can keep your balance and not have to tap, try for that. See if you can swing that opposite arm across toward the leg. Three, two, and one. Other side. So we'll plant the left foot. Right leg swings up. And that left arm swings across. Chest tall. Engage to that core. See if you can get that leg super straight. Don't worry if it doesn't come all the way up. Just get it as high as you can using that core, flexing into that supporting leg. Last one. Okay, now we're going to go to the side. Same as we kind of did with that forward hinge. Grab that core, find your balance on that right side, and then swing the leg up. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders back and down. Three more. Okay, other side. Ready, set. Lift through that right leg. Balance. Through that supporting thigh, you're flexing in deep. Core is going on. 
Chest tall, shoulders back and down. Three more. Okay, back to that other side. Lifting that left leg, so balance on the right. We're gonna kick behind. Keep your upper body up. So you're getting a little bit of arch in that low back, but you're protecting using that core. Draw that belly button up and in. Three, two, one. All right, right leg down. Let's move into, or I'm sorry, you're mirroring. So left leg down, right leg will extend. Keep that core strong. Knee lines with the toe on your supporting leg. Last one. Okay, let's hinge down. Slide it out. We're going to walk forward. Hit that downward facing dog. Belly nice and strong. Push into that thumb and first finger if that works for you. You can always do a supported down dog. So I know some of us need to watch our wrists or even upper back. So if you can, you can grab um, a table or a bench and hit this direction, right? So still driving those shoulder blades down, core nice and strong, it won't put the pressure on your upper back or in those wrists. You can also use a wall. So you just plant your hands on the wall, walk down, feel the shoulder blades contract on your spine and work from there. All right, walk those hands back to your feet if you are in a downward facing dog. We're going to hit our low squat again. Hinge in nice and low. If you weren't able to get this low, maybe at the very beginning, hopefully you're getting there now. It's crazy how when you keep pushing yourself into it, those hips will open. You'll find the balance. You'll get that, that positioning eventually for sure. All right. Go ahead and come onto your back now. Let's have some fun standing. We're going to roll back and down. <clears throat> Push your low back into the ground. So you're going to find a pelvic tuck. So you're going to take that natural low back arch, push it out, tucking the pelvis and flexing deep into the core. Let's keep our left leg on the ground. Right leg's going to extend out in front. So just like we did with our standing position, I want you to hit this up here, lying on the ground. So that low back presses in. Toe is going to pull up towards you. So depending on your flexibility, your leg might start to bend, but try to keep that hip on the ground, right? That right hip should stay on the ground. If you have a super tight leg, it may look like this, and you're getting it this far, that's fine. You're contracting and controlling through that core, and you're just getting movement into that hip joint. Let's go three more. Grab through that abdomen. Last one. Okay, put that foot on the ground. Now lift the other. Flex through that toe. Try to get that stretch into the hamstring. Straight leg. Just drop and lift. Feel the quad stay strong. That core stay contracted, those transverse abdominis on the sides of the front of the belly. They're contracting and holding that core. Even though we're not in high intensity, my body's heated up. Hopefully yours is too, just based on flexion. Last one. Okay, we are going to take, instead of our uh, low squat that we had been doing, we're gonna stay on our back and hit up a happy baby. So your toes, your feet are gonna come up. You can grab inside those arches or take your hands from inside the leg around and pull on the outer edge of the foot. Drop those knees toward the ground, push your pelvis into the ground, pull your right knee down and your left kind of wobble side to side just a bit. And then level off. All right, and then we're going back to the ground. 
that left leg's going to stay on the ground and we're going to drop the right leg out to the side. So lift your leg, pull that toe back, straight leg. Your um, right leg will just drop out to the side and then pull it back in, out to the side, pull it back in, running into the wall. Three, so you need to keep contraction on that core and you're going to be working and feeling hopefully a little bit of heat in that inner thigh as you're pulling back in. Spread across your chest. You can use those arms to help assist. Get the leg open out to the side. Four. Three. Two. Ooh, that quad's talking too. And one. Okay, now we'll go other leg. So right foot's on the ground, left leg extends straight, flex through that toe, open to the side, bring it back. You're using the core. Try to keep that low back pushed into the ground. Got to engage the core, protect the low back. You need that core to get your leg back to the top as well. Three more. Two. And one. Okay. Bring those legs back up. We're going to hit our happy baby again. Arms go inside the legs. Wrap around the outside of the foot. Pull those knees down to the ground. Okay. One more direction for those legs on our lying set. So we've gotten our forward, we've gotten our lateral. Now we're gonna pull to the back. So just set your elbows on the ground like you're getting ready to do a cobra. If you would like, you can go ahead and put your forehead all the way onto the ground. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Slide those shoulder blades down. Have your forehead supported so you're not craning on the neck. Flex through those glutes. And then we're gonna lift through that right leg. Just lift that right leg straight off the ground. Flexing through that glute and hamstring. No pressure in your neck. Core still engages. Three, two, one. Other side. Left leg lifts. Keep those hips level. Belly engages. Three, two, and one. All right, last time to finish this off. One more low squat. Get those feet open nice and wide. Drop back onto those heels. Press into the hands, lift the chest. Just try to relax now in that core. low and if you're still up supporting on the knees up higher that's totally fine you'll get lower and lower over time also if you're able to get one side down one heel down and one heel up that's fine as well all right good job thank you so much as always getting some movement mobility balance in and i will see you next time <laughs>